From Wembley Stadium in London to Madison Square Garden in New York City, Sir Elton John has performed on some of the biggest stages in the world. Friday, a relatively smaller crowd, an audience of 2,000 people at the White House. You ready? Uh, we're getting the cue? All, set. all right, drop the beat. Over the past decade, the White House has hosted a slew of musical guests. Artists like Jennifer Hudson, Smokey Robinson, and Lin-Manuel Miranda have performed at the White House as part of the Obama administration celebrations of American music. Singer Kid Rock attended the Trump administration signing ceremony for the Music Modernization Act. And performers like Olivia Rodrigo and the K-pop boy band BTS have spoken at the White House to advocate for the COVID-19 vaccine and to address the issue of anti-Asian hate crimes. The demographics that each of the artists uh, bring with them are demographics that the party is trying to persuade. Professor David Jackson has been researching the political influence of celebrity endorsements for the past two decades, and he's noted that since Biden's 2020 presidential campaign, the administration's choices for musical guests and performances can be seen as an attempt to bring together generations. Some of the performers during the 2020 Democratic National Convention included Gen Z pop star Billie Eilish, folk rock musician Stephen Stills, and Broadway singer Billy Porter. You know, a celebrity endorsement's a great thing. It gives energy, enthusiasm, helps raise money, helps persuade people. Uh, but it's a lot more complicated than that. Jackson notes that celebrity endorsements are only effective if the celebrities are familiar, likable, and credible in the eyes of fans. Elton John has long been an advocate for LGBTQ rights and a major activist in the fight against HIV AIDS. The British icon's performance at the White House has been dubbed a night when hope and history rhyme. And honorees in attendance include everyday history makers like teachers, healthcare professionals, and LGBTQ advocates. Casey Mendoza, Newsy.